Well, I am so happy to be here. Uh, after 20 years as a parish priest, uh, and after two and a half years or so as your bishop coadjutor, uh, I'm ready to go as the diocesan bishop of Virginia. And that has a lot to do with the fact that those two and a half years as bishop coadjutor, I'm very proud of. I took good advantage of the time that I had uh, many people asked me over, over those, those years, uh, was this a, a long time to be a coadjutor? And in comparison to a lot of places, sure. But in a place like Virginia, uh, we needed them. I needed them. Um, I think the diocese needed them. And so uh, I've been able to travel thousands of miles, and I've been able to have thousands of conversations when I've been able to learn the things that I needed to learn. And a great deal of that was the wisdom and the guidance that I got from my revered predecessor, Peter James Lee, who quite frankly was a real hero of mine when I was elected bishop. And we learned how to work as colleagues together, and that's something that I really treasure. Uh, in addition to having a real confidence in that continuity that I got from from Bishop Lee and from the visits that I had, the travels that I had throughout the diocese, that gave me co uh, confidence in our continuity, and that's the way a lot of the church in Virginia works. I have no less confidence and uh, enjoy just as much the uh, envisioning of new things, uh, how we get where we want to go next, how do we meet challenges, how do we meet opportunities. Uh, finding ways to move forward together. My leadership style is, is one that really takes advantage of collaboration and listening, and I think that's the best way to meet new challenges and opportunities and to uh, chart new visions, so I'm just as confident about that as well. That leadership style that I mentioned is one that I envision uh, as being uh, in the middle of a line that would be horizontal. I'm not at all uncomfortable with the hierarchical lines. My, my ecclesiology has always had a high view of the episcopate, but my leadership style itself is in the middle of a, of a horizontal line where, and I'll say this very pointedly, I have uh, my folks in the diocese to the right and to the left of me and standing squarely there with me squarely with them. And that's how the, we can listen and move forward together. And we need all of us across that line for this to occur. 